And the former U.S. President Donald Trump surrendered to authorities in Georgia. He was formally arrested on charges that he conspired uh, to overturn the 2020 elections in the state. And the booking process has yielded a historic first, a mug shot of the former American president. The Fulton County Jail has released uh, the mug shot of Trump and his, his jail records have been posted online. The entire booking process lasted just 20 minutes. Trump has fulfilled the $200,000 bail bond and other release conditions. He has denied any wrongdoing and called his criminal prosecution a travesty of justice. What has taken place here is a travesty of justice. We did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. And everybody knows it. I've never had such support. And that goes with the other ones, too. What they're doing is election interference. They're trying to interfere with an election. There's never been anything like it in our country before. This is their way of campaigning. And this is one instance, but you have three other instances. The 77-year-old former president is accused of conspiring with 18 co-defendants in trying to overturn the 2020 presidential election result in the key southern state. And dozens of his supporters were gathered outside the jail, guarded under tight security ahead of his arrest. Trump did not have to undergo the indignity of having a mugshot taken during his three previous arrests this year, the first in New York on charges of paying hush money to uh, adult star Tommy, uh, Stormy Daniels, next in Washington on charges of conspiring to append his 2020 election loss to Democrat Joe Biden and third uh, in Florida for mishandling top secret government documents. Now, others facing racketeering charges in the alleged Georgia conspiracy include Trump's former personal lawyer Rudy Giuliani and his White House chief of staff Mark Meadows. The booking of billionaire real estate tycoon comes just hours after he skipped the Republican primary debate featuring eight of his rivals for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination, a contest in which he remains the leading candidate despite his legal troubles. His presence in Georgia, though very brief, is expected to put a spotlight at, at least temporarily on his opponents as well. And for more on this, uh, we earlier uh, were joined by our correspondent, Sudan Tehrani. Listen in. The former president is going to head back to his home in New Jersey after uh, this processing from Georgia. And then, uh, you know, tomorrow, a, a set of other co-defendants have to ultimately uh, turn themselves in as well, because uh, tomorrow will be the final deadline for all of these co-defendants in this Georgia case. And then, you know, when you look at the timeline of what um, Fannie Willis, the lead prosecutor, uh, wants in terms of having a trial, it really falls in line with the time that the former president, if he becomes the nominee, would have to campaign and would have to be on different stages and travel uh, to gain votes and garner votes. Uh, they want to start as early as October, meaning Georgia. Uh, it's expected that the Trump team will basically try to negotiate for a later date because October is just too early. They also want to try to uh, try all uh, of the individuals, the 19, uh, at the same time, which, you know, that's virtually impossible if you just remember what happened, uh, for example, last night at the primary Republican debate, eight people together, you know, having very different uh, perspectives and opinions, even from the same party, it was hard to really control them by the moderators. Can you imagine if like 18, 19 people are in the courtroom at once? So that's what we're expecting to hear in terms of news but how it's going to affect his campaign. This is an extremely sad day for the United States, considering the fact that a mugshot is usually used when someone is a flight risk, when people don't know what that person looks like. Donald Trump is really one of the most well-known people in the world. Uh, to have a mugshot, really, uh, I think a lot of people would agree was politically motivated. And that's something that the Justice Department and the justice system here in the United States had tried to shy away from until now. On the one hand, you had Joe Biden just hours before Donald Trump turned himself in, uh, send an email out to his donors saying that this is the perfect time to donate to my campaign as Donald Trump is going to go to that Georgia jail. On the other hand, with this mugshot, although we'll probably see it on T-shirts and mugs and everywhere until Election Day, around the world, TV networks will uh, air it on and on again. But the Trump campaign, I wouldn't be surprised if they use it to their advantage as well.